I just want to share how dangerous it is to trade options, whether that is spreads, even spreads, buying calls, buying puts. You can see this is my all time loss just on Robinhood alone. I'm not talking about my other brokerages. Just Robinhood, I'm down $58,000 all time. $58,000. Tell me, what can that get you? It can buy me a nice car, but no, I'm still driving a 2014 Honda Civic that has over 160,000 miles on it. And most of these losses, like I said, they're from options. I want to go ahead and show you again, Baba. I don't know why I'm so addicted to options and Baba. You can see these were spreads, put credit spread. I've done spreads. And if the stock doesn't move in your favor, you're going to lose on those spreads as well. It doesn't matter if it's a better strategy. If the stock doesn't move your way, you're going to lose money. And you can see a $200 call. Wow. And Baba is at $81 right now. $250 call. Like I said, Baba was once a $300 stock. And the problem with options is that once you start winning, you can't stop. And once you start losing, you definitely can't stop because you're just chasing losses now. So there's no such thing as a win win with options trading. Let me go ahead and show you Wall Street Bets. Look at this. This person lost 100K in 3.5 years. We don't know what they bet on, but just being in the stock market alone is very dangerous. That's why you have to pick good stocks, good quality stocks that you know that if it drops, it's going to go back up, such as Microsoft. Apple, Tesla, any of those big US tech stocks, we all know they're going to recover. I've been on this stuff for four years. I took my first YOLO and completely regret it the first day. This person has SPY 502 puts down $20,000. After trying options trading for about a year, I'm down 99.4%. Again, Options, options, options. It doesn't matter if you win big. Trust me, you're going to lose it all eventually. It's very hard to be consistent with options trading. Let me know in the comments down below have you been profitable with options or just buying and holding shares? And thanks for watching.